Hello and welcome to Monato Awesome Review. And today we're looking at the action base for uh, stand, display stand for the Gundam figures. And specifically, this review will be focused more towards figureized figures, which is why it is in the title. And more specifically, Broly. Because I've gotten a couple of questions asking, you know, what stand to use for someone like Broly. And this is the one I would recommend 100% because it's meant for a master grade Gundam and although Broly is a high grade uh figureized figure he is on the bigger size he is closer to a master grade size for a Gundam anyway obviously the scale is still meant for high grade but that's besides the point you can see here you can have two figures on here at once uh using the adapter that Gohan came with on um, his little uh I, I don't know what you want to call this harness like thing I almost want to say diaper but yeah, you can also use it for like the uh, the little weapons he comes with and attach them on there. Just get rid of that really quick. And this is a pretty good stand. And I really quick, I want to show you guys the packaging. It does come in like a little bag. Uh, the instructions are on the back of that paper. And it does come in pieces. You do have to put this together. But I'm assuming that if you were able to put Broly together, you know, you'll be able to put this together no problem. He does come with an assortment of, dap of adapters, I should say mostly meant for Gundams things like these little pieces that go in the crotch of the Gundam that go up there so you can hold them up uh you get this little arm thing which I don't recommend using with Broly because it it doesn't really go around his waist that good it doesn't curve in enough to clip onto him it can kind of hold him I did kind of test it out but it didn't work out too great to where I would recommend you use it it has one of these adapter things that you can use actually to um plug in another one of these uh adapters for the smaller figureized figures i'm looking for like there we go the vegeta one which you can plug in like that and you can plug vegeta in and you, this stand right here does split into two so if you use this with the adapter on there you can get vegeta you can actually get three figures on here at one time which is really nice it has these little ladder looking things that help separate the uh the piece here so you know that's how it's being held up basically and we do have these bottom pieces which are what you would use when you separate those into two pieces another kind of like extended arm which once again if you plug that in you can plug in like Vegeta's adapter or the harness for Gohan I will say I tried to harness for Goku which I have right here and for whatever reason it's it's a lot more loose than Gohan's which is a little disappointing, but you can, you know, get it on there and balance it and it'll work fine though. For those other figures, I would recommend the Tamashi Nation stand. Uh, this comes with three of them. They're about 20 bucks, so they're a little bit more money than one of these, but they're definitely worth it if you want something more stable for your standard size figureized figures. And, um, you know, just other assortment of adapters, you know, or things that really don't matter as much if you're doing this getting this 40 figureized figure as you can see here it does hold Brawly's weights really good the way it works is you know we have like a little hinge right here that locks in the rotation at the bottom and on the top right there so you can move this back a little bit like that and then you know if you gotta just find a sweet spot right there you can push that in and it'll lock in place and you can see we have Broly up in the air, you know, displayed pretty good. And because it is kind of a circle-y adapter, you can get him sideways if you really wanted to. You know, you gotta just mess with it, make sure that the weight is all good. Uh, when I started the video, this was lifted up a little bit more. Now that I brought this arm down, you can see it's a little bit better. We can bring the arm down by unclipping it right here, which right now is a little bit hard to do, especially with the weight. But man uh the the basic idea here is these little arms you can move this forward and then you know depending on where you want it you can use one of these to kind of just like separate it so it holds it up like that i'm not gonna mess with that one too much right now because like i said with broly on here the weight is a little bit high i do have the back skirt piece off because well it keeps falling off from one and two you can see how the adapter works you definitely want to make sure you didn't throw away broly's adapter uh, it is clear blue, meaning that it will be probably in the same uh, sprue as the ones that came with these little round things here. And what you're going to need to use is one of these adapters. It comes with two of them. 
you just plug it straight onto uh, the piece here, plug the other one directly into it, and there you have Broly on a stand that holds his weight really good. And with all these extra little holes here, you can add, like I said, different figures. If you buy, let's say, two of these, you could probably add two more figures, like Goku and Vegeta. Though, warning, like I said, this doesn't hold it that great. But if you wanted to do something crazy, or I wouldn't say crazy, um, with the Tamashi Nation stand, first off, you know, that won't really fit into any of these holes that well. You know, it, it just, it won't go in. It's too big. That one's too small. But this piece right here will fit on the arm that it comes with like that so if you already have let's say it's a machine nation stand you want goku and vegeta on here with broly you can plug in one of these adapters and you can plug that in and then we can get goku oh let's unplug that and goku on here like that and it does hold the weight really well so you know, you have your options. Obviously, not everyone is going to want to spend that much money just to get a arm adapter from a Tamashii Nation stand. But if you have one lying around and you don't mind using it, you know, there you go. That's a pretty good option. And like I said, you can plug in his uh, little energy beam. It doesn't fit in perfectly, but you can balance it in there, you know, well enough. And really quick before I end this video, because it's, it's not too much to talk about, honestly. I do want to show you guys, like I said, you can split this up into uh, two pieces, which is what I'm actually going to use this for. And that is for uh, Gundams, because my figurized display is mostly everybody is just standing around. You know, they're, they're posed, but I want this mostly for Gundams. So you can see here, you unplug it from that, and you want to pull these apart, which I'm doing back here because it's a little bit easier. And you're left with these two pieces. Now, you have these two extra pieces right here, which you can plug into pretty much whichever hole you want. You can see this kind of stayed on there from last time, but you can force it out if you need to. But yeah, that, that goes in like that. And both of these, you can see, have different uh, bottom pieces. Obviously, this one goes to this one. You want to make sure that the little grooves here match the grooves down here. Same with this one right here. And then you're going to want to use one of these little ladder things to hold the thing up. And you can, you know, unhinge that so we can move that whichever way we need to. Same with this one. Let's use, let's use actually the bigger one of these and just have that go like that. And like I said, you can get up to three of these figures on here if you're kind of creative enough i guess if you want to use that word you just kind of like need to figure out which adapters to use with what so let's take goku for instance let's get this one you know we can plug it into here like i said it's not snug it does move around which is disappointing i don't know if that's just my adapter piece or if it's just that bigger stand i don't know where my other uh my other stand that came with the super saiyan 3 goku is or i would have tested it to see if it was just that but there we have that's one and like i said it can hold his weight so if we really wanted to you know move goku up just a little bit more we can let's get gohan in here he has his little thing right here and let's use one of these which is the one that comes out so let's open this up Move that forward, plug that in like there, and then let's lock that into place so it doesn't move. Plug in the little harness right there. And there we have Gohan. Although far off in distance, you know, if we wanted to move this upwards so he's a little bit closer. Something like that. Of course, now he's a little bit higher up, but we could lower the arm just a little bit if we really wanted to. Uh, you guys get the idea here, but there's Gohan and Goku. And let's say we want Vegeta on here as well for, you know, you know it's Vegeta. Why not? Let's put him on here. Get one of, you know, this little adapter here. Plug in his adapter. Plug in his into his adapter and plug him into this. And there we go. Now we have, well, that came loose from the bottom. 
But there we go. Now we have three figures on here if you want them. So definitely a good base to, uh, you know, keep in mind for these figures. Definitely recommend it. Anyways, check out the pictures and video, whatever, at the end of this. And uh, yeah, the link in the description below for the base for the uh, action base and for the Tomashi Nation base in case you guys want to look at them on Amazon, consider buying them. Uh, that's pretty much that. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.